Muling nagbabalik ang Deped Hour para sa tele turuan. Itatampok natin sa gabi ito ang ikalawang module sa Asignaturang Science para sa Season 6. Sa module pong ito ay makakasama natin bilang teacher presenter si Gina Melissa Garcia ng Kabalituan East Central School na tatalakay sa aralin tungkol sa eclipses. Halina, manood, makinig at matuto sa ating tele turuan. Hi and good evening everyone. I am Melissa G. Santillana, Teacher 3 of Cabanatuan East Central School and will present to you the second module in Science 4, Season 6. In this module, we are going to define eclipses and identify types of eclipses. But before that, let's review our last topic in our first module about the moon and its spaces. The moon orbits the earth. The moon orbits at an angle with respect to the earth's orbit around the sun. The moon doesn't shine on its own and it reflects sunlight. As the moon makes its monthly journey around the earth, the side of the moon reflecting the sunlight is viewed from different angles. Wow! Great answer, kids! Now, are you ready to explore the moon again? If yes, then let's explore it, but this time, we're going to join the sun and the earth in our exploration. So I have here some questions for you to answer. What is an eclipse? And how solar and lunar eclipse happen? What is an eclipse? An eclipse, it is when the shadow of one celestial body falls on another, or it's the partial or total blocking of light of one celestial body by another. Celestial means that's the Latin word for heaven. Do you know that there are two types of eclipses? These are solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Solar eclipse. When the moon's shadow covers the part of the earth, only happens at new moon, that is solar eclipse. So there are three types, the annular, the partial, and total. This happens when the moon comes between the earth and the sun. The shadow of the moon falls on part of the earth. So let's not forget the acronym SME. It's the sun, moon, and earth. Solar. The moon shadow actually has two parts. The penumbra, that is the faint outer shadow, which partial eclipses are seen from within the shadow. And then we have umbra, that is the dark inner shadow. Total eclipses are seen from within this shadow. So, we have here uh, an animation showing a total solar eclipse. Remember that it is not safe to stare at the solar eclipse. This shows that the moon creates a small shadow which only allows certain areas of the earth to see a total solar eclipse. Before we continue with our lesson, let's post for some reminders from our station. <music> 